Welcome to episode 4 of this AI only tournament for Rome Total to War. Uh, there's two factions left to have their first game, Egypt and Scythia. Which is going to win? Well, let's find out. So, of course, armies are chosen at random, and Egypt have gone for a few catapults, some chariots, and arch archers, quite a lot of missile units, and we have a couple of, uh, a few peasant units there as well. Now, let's check Scythia. Um, they've gone for a few more catapults, some more peasants, and missile cavalry. So, very similar armies, although the Egyptians have, you know, camels and chariots, whereas they're more horses and stuff, but. Yeah, st still very similar, you know, missile cav units, archers, uh, peasants, catapults, so yeah, let's go. And here we are at the battle, let us begin. So, Egypt moving in, they've got some phalanxes which I forgot about as well, which Scythia lacks, so yeah, that's going to be interesting to see how uh, those play out. I think that's going to give advantage to Egypt. Now this is of course one match, single elimination, only one faction will survive. The other faction, gone. Um, out of a tournament. The survivor will go on to fight, um, who, who, who do we go to fight? Gaul. So yeah, the survivor, or the winner, whatever you call it, uh, will fight Gaul to the death. Who's gonna win? So, so far we have Rome, uh, Parthia, and Gaul through. And only one of these factions is gonna make it. And then of course they'll fight and then we'll be down to the final. So the, the cavalry is coming in. It looks like some uh, miss, missile fire has taken out some of these ca uh, chariots, which is nice to see from. But you know they're taking out some cavalry of their own. There's going to be a lot of skirmishes in this one, I can imagine. A lot of missile units on both sides. No one's engaged yet. It's just all missile fire. Neither faction really has any armour on the troops either, so <laughs> yeah, they're all getting torn to pieces by it. Okay, here we go, the peasants charging to start it off. Uh, the Scythians charging with their cavalry to chase away their missile units, and oh, they're in, they're in a tough spot right now there. Yeah, getting peppered by arrows, chased by peasants. Yeah, that's not good, but it looks like the, the Scythians have actually broken. Scythians pulling their missile units back there. They've been pushed back here as well. That's a problem when you send peasants in first. Uh, they are fighting strong over here. They should be able to cut through these Egyptians. I think they're fighting, yeah, they're fighting missile units. Uh, but the Egyptians come in on the flank, but the Scythians immediately come in with a counter flank as well. One of, there's going to be a mass route here for certain. Someone's done a break. More chariots around and stuff. Um, looks like the phalanxes have gotten involved uh, surrounding uh, the cavalry units. Oh, Scythia lost the cavalry. Oh, this is the general. Scythia's general's charging the phalanx. You want to get him out of there? Get him out of there. Arrow fire coming in as well. Oh, it looks like Scythia's broken. If they lose the general right now, which they should have lost him by now. There he goes. So that's a massive morale penalty for Scythia. And the cavalry is pulling back. I think that cavalry is actually broken. They've broken. Oh, that just collapsed instantly. This is the shortest battle yet. <laughs> it's so weird because, you know, the, the Gaul versus Pontus video, I know I've spoiled it, spoiled it by saying that Gaul won. Um, but, you know, I highly advise you watch it because that was such a close battle to the very end. Like, it went down to the final 50 units on each side. A very close battle. It, I recommend that you watch it. It was, it was epic to see. Uh, but then this one here, completely different story here. Sorry, my, my throat goes a bit weird when I talk too much. Like, hiccup sort of thing. Um, yeah, so Scythia to the Egyptians just collapsed instantly. Now, that's that's either that Scythia is just a weak faction, and, you know, they that, that never stood a chance in this tournament anyway. Oh, they had a good cavalry charge from those peasants, though. Or maybe that, that's a good sign for Egypt that they're gonna make a push up no, Scythia's losing to peasants here. <laughs> wow, that's and now they're broken. Well either way, well done to Egypt, a short video. That should mean it shouldn't take too long for me to edit, which is perfect. <laughs> Saves me a bit of time. I might play some EU4 instead now I've got an extra ten minutes. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, the last charge of Scythia, charging into the peasants and to be honest, I think the peasants are going to win this. <laughs> 
Yeah, that, that collapsed so quickly for them. Well, well, well done Egypt, they're now going to go through to fight Pontus, um, Gaul I mean, and yeah, the winner of that will fight the winner of Rome versus Parthia, which is going to be an interesting one because uh, a lot of people voted for Rome and it's clear that Rome is a good faction, you know, but will they be able to win? I don't know. A couple of people commented that if anyone can take down Rome, it's going to be Parthia, but people doubted it because they didn't think Parthia would make it through and beat Greece. So, if Parthia beat Rome, which some people think they could, then we've got a completely different series here. Now that, that would change the plan a lot, because I, my thought is that Julii, or Rome, whatever you want to call them, they're going to win. That's where my thought is as well. Uh, but if Parthia can get them out on the second game, I mean, it'd be, I'm guessing between Gaul and Egypt, my guess, of course it's just a guess, I think, I think Egypt would win. So then it'd be Egypt versus Parthia in the final. That'd be such a weird fight. But who knows what's going to happen? Who knows? Either way, the stats are here now. Egypt, 995 kills, almost hitting 1,000. Uh, Scythia, uh, bringing less troops, but they only killed 407. Uh, Scythia, bad luck, I guess. Or maybe they're just terrible. Or maybe Egypt is just super OP and I never realised. Either way, hope you've enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next one, which will be Rome versus Parthia. Will the Romans be able to hold, or will Parthia uh, get the win that some people expect from too? Hope you've enjoyed, and goodbye.